Hey everybody, call me Felix and before I begin with our first time cooking sisig out of a leftover lechon pig's head, um, please allow me to say a couple of important notes for this channel moving forward. Um, the first is a very personal one and it's a sad one for me to report. Um, my father, you know, I called him Lolo Lito on the blog, uh, passed away a few weeks ago. Um, dad was 84 years old, but up until he died, he was healthy blessed with incredible vitality until his last day, which made his passing so unexpected. Um, needless to say, I'm reeling, not just in the immediate shock of dad's passing, but also because dad was like an older brother or best friend I could joke around with, you know, like a fit companion willing to try almost anything in our travels. And of course, dad loved food, and it was a pleasure to take him around on our food adventures. More or less because his pension paid for our meals, huh? Um, Dad loved food and life, for he was almost always jolly and generous. Um, he was always willing to help without hesitation, particularly to those in his hometown of Piddig, where he is laid to rest. Uh, I could go on and on about Dad, but for the sake of time, I won't, and in the near future, I'll publish a personal tribute video for Dad. Uh, there are also a few unpublished videos I'm still editing that feature some good memories of Dad. And so, stay tuned for those videos. Uh, secondly, due to the pandemic raising quarantine levels again in Ilocos Norte, um, it looks like I'll have to shift focus away from food reviews and travel videos for the time being. But luckily for you, I stocked our pantry full of instant noodles to review, and so for the foreseeable future, you'll see plenty of instant noodle videos, mainly tastings and maybe some recipe ideas. Some of you might be excited for instant noodle reviews, some of you might not and think I'm just stuffing content just because. I'm hoping this instant noodle stint will be temporary, as I do have plans for a couple of months from now, or at least until next year again to do more of the videos I enjoy making and perhaps you enjoy watching. So, watch this space and stay tuned. Hopefully as things get better, so will this channel as well. With these couple of notes out of the way, let's get to Warren's first time making sisig out of the leftover lechon pig's head from my father sending off. Enjoy. Hey everybody, call me Felix and today Warren is, we have a pig's head here from our leftover lechon. So yeah, so we will make um, lechon sisig for our uh, A very authentic one out of a pig's head everybody. Yeah, pig lip over. Yeah. Are you going to use the brain instead of mayonnaise? Oh, that's a good idea. What do you mean a good idea? Well, the original sisig from Aling Lusing in Pampanga um, mm, yeah. was she, a real she put pig's mayonnaise? head. Mayonnaise and then... Well, no, she used a pig's brain and then a lot of the oh, really? pork cheek. Yeah, you got you to gotta incorporate everything. This has got to be the classic sisig. You're, you're yeah. gonna... Warren has not made sisig ever in his life. Never. <laughs> well, so guys, this is my first time doing this. Then I will use all of this. Yeah, you have to use all of it. This is a real old time CC. Even, even the bones, I will use it. What the? No, you uh, can't use the bones, Warren. <laughs> Maybe even got to use some of that tongue in there, right? Yeah, just cut into its smallest pieces. Ah, okay. Yeah, and remove the, that, that just like a small bones. Uh, okay. Little tiny bumps, just remove all of it. <laughs> okay. So he's just cutting up pieces. He's basically making work of that carcass. He should open up that for that um, pig's yeah. brain, right? Let's go now into highlights mode. Yeah. So you know how to butcher one where you get all the brainy goodness oh, then? Man. Oh man. Hey. Separate that! Looks nasty. Well, yeah, I mean... Ew! Oh. There is the pig brain. This one? But, yeah. That's the extra <laughs> creamy part. But then you also have some mayonnaise, right? To supplement that, right? Yeah, oh. Only this? No, there's more stuff. Tipinho! You have a bigger brain than that. I think you need some brain. To get out most of the other brains. Hey, don't forget some of that nose, that snout too. Snout and tongue. 
Yeah, you gotta put that all in there. It's gotta be the old-fashioned C-Sig, right? So this is your real first time making C-Sig? Yeah. <laughs> so you had to look up a recipe. I just only watch on YouTube and then I have an idea. So what if we make... This so this, this is not exactly now. as creative as your duck soup recipe. My legendary duck soup? <laughs> <laughs> legendary duck soup! Ay, you fly yourself too much. I think, I think only this. This is a little circle. That's his brain. Oh. But apparently our pig was not very bright. Okay, it's starting to rain again, so... I'm gonna shut this off for now and then clean the lens because it's fogging up. All right, the rain has abated, thankfully. So we can show you what ingredients we're gonna use. I mean, this is almost so, as faithful. So guys, um, we are gonna use um, ginger, of course. Yeah. And white onions, and mm -hmm. then green chili. And then, so we don't have lime juice, so I use calamansi instead of mm, that. Well, then, very uh, clever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And then, Chili, pangsigang. Mm -hmm. Panigang? Yeah, panigang. Ah, that was a chili eating contest! Oh, oh yeah! This yeah. makes me full, god damn chili. <laughs> and of course, um, liver, any kind of liver. Mm -hmm. Then black pepper. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, lechon. Yeah, our pig's head all chopped up like that. Yeah. With the brain, I think I see and the brain on course, the corner. And of course, we forget the last one. That butter. Well, yeah, you need butter. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. This Don't forget to put some sinong labuyo to finish it off at the end, right? Oh, yeah, just sinong labuyo. Oh. Yeah, that's green chili. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but you need some red ones so yeah. for, for um, color. Yeah, butter is very important. Mm -hmm. And then, guys, put the ginger. Yeah. Like that. Right. White onions. Mm-hmm. Oh, jeez. Remember to get mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. We don't have mayonnaise. So, nandito yung brain. Yeah. But did you get all of the brain? Yep. Mmm. That's the brain. Then, put the brain. Then, of course, this one, the liver. Any kind of liver. Well, it has to be pork liver. I don't know about any kind of liver, huh? <laughs> Human liver. What? Hannibal Lecter, what? Human liver. With fava beans? Nope. And some Chianti? Ew. You don't know what a Chianti is. What's Chianti mean? Um, Chianti is a type of red wine. Ah, oh, it's a little bit like, you know. Mmm. Well, that liver's cooking at nice high heat. Well, you got this on high heat? Yeah. Mm. Oh, it says max. Max power. It's the heat. You better cook your sisig in. Otherwise, it won't be crispy. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. Okay. So, guys, this is a chicken liver. Looks like pork liver. Nope. What? You couldn't find anything to so use chicken liver. Yikes. Apparently they ran out of pork at the market. They included livers. In a way. Okay, let's go. Ah, just because I was climbing for it. Then of course, man, calamansi. Mang calamansi. Oh. Don't forget your chilies. Oh, and your black pepper. Oh, and your sauce. Then put a little bit of seasoning on it. What's that? They call that liquid smoke? No, liquid seasoning. Liquid seasoning! We call it Which might as well be called liquid smoke.
So instead of soy sauce, we have liquid smoke seasoning. Yep. Yeah, it does smell like smoky soy sauce. Wait five minutes. Five minutes, huh? Ah, it's raining again. Then the green chili, pangsigang. Panigang! So it was it like the panigang chili pepper when you started to tap out? Uh, no, it... it <laughs> oh, no, it's, it's not the pang, pang, panigang. It's the, like... Actually, it's like the red pepper. Oh. There, I, Hey, you went out no, at the not. lemon starburst. Yeah, that's it. The piney gong was one of the peppers that gave you some trouble, though. Yeah. Let me get a film in this weather. Boom! Guys, of course, the chili, green chili. You don't have red ones? Um, yeah, I have. You gotta add some for color! Alright, guys, so I think we need some color for it, so we should put green, I mean red chili. Well, that's what I've been saying all along! Yeah. Red chili Right. Let's put red chili. There you go. And then, of course, we forgot some a little bit salty, right? So we should put a seed. Ah, salt, yeah. Oh, 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 it's hurt, it's hurt. So, all that. The weather is really ugly. It's freaking thundering and raining. Yuck. And you know how much I love thunderstorms? Not one bit! Hurry up, Warren! Alright, through hellfire, rain, and thunder, Warren has cooked a sisig. And he put a wonderful egg on top. Huzzah! Then... Maybe we can split our chili in here, huh? A red ceiling labuyo. So once again, Warren deconstructed a pig's head, even put in pork pig brain instead of mayonnaise, just like the Aling Lu Sing recipe. Yeah. Yeah. Try to make this as authentic as possible. Let's break that egg. Eh, because we have enough peppers, I don't think we need to be fancy as far as that. And. Let me just say, there's no rice here, as you can see. Because I don't care about rice. I'm the only Filipino that doesn't care about rice. Okay, I think that is good. We got some chili, we got some egg, and we got some the pig's head. Oh, is he? <laughs> well, that's my first time, so I, I have an excuses. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's always a brilliant excuse. Just say, hey, it's my first time. Um, I'll try a bit more. Good news is the taste profile is right spot on. Mmm. Yeah. Could use a little more mayonnaise. And it could have used a little more browning on to get that mm -hmm. those pieces like um crispier. From that said, it's quite tasty. I only wish I had some beer then. So I think I love about pig's head. It's got that awesome chewiness. Out of the ch out of the skin, especially if you get some of that cheek in there. Of course, putting some liver in there augments things, makes it chewier, makes it more savory. Oh, where are my manners? We got to put some extra calamansi in there. Added some freshness. 
And the egg, of course, put a fried egg on there. Add some creaminess that is a bit lacking because we don't have mayonnaise. And that pig's brain was not sufficient to cover the entire thing. I think it needs a bit more soy. I think it needs a bit more mayo. But other than that, a valiant first attempt. And I think could have used um, a little more browning to make it more crispy, especially the skin. And I will say this, and a positive for Warren, because this will remind me of like the earlier episode. Remember when we went were in Cebu and ate at Rico's Lechon? And that pig's head seasick for me did not really taste or feel like a pig's head. And it wasn't as luxurious as some other people's blogs. And it was disappointing for me. Well, you know what? This is more in the spirit of that. It's mainly chewy, meaty. Need some of that egg, really. To kind of bind everything together. Get that fresh in the bouillon there. So Warren. What? <laughs> He's gone back to work after doing a second time. Yeah. Well, That's oh, pretty good. Why don't you try it? Why don't JP try it? Let me see it's Warren's cooking is the bomb. It looks delicious. Mm-hmm. Let me get that pepper there. Mmm. <laughs> Chef Warren has done it! <laughs> Chef Warren! <laughs> That's good! Wow! You make a better one than Rico's Lechon! How about that? Better than Rico's Sabu! Look at that egg in there. That's yeah. mm -hmm. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. Just needs a little more mayo and a little bit more soy sauce and a little more browning. That's it. But the first attempt, really good. Warren! So, I think that is a good way to end the video. Hey, listen guys, um, subscribing is free, so yeah, please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe for more updates. Thank you. Yeah, for more of these, especially the instant noodle stuff that we've got for you. Ah, instant noodle adventures, yay. So, maybe we have a few cooking episodes, I don't know. I still want to do that duck soup recipe where it's a little more refined with some French stuff. So, until the next video, guys, keep cool but care. And shut up, Ben. I'm trying to wrap this video up. Oh, I didn't know. Okay, whatever. That's all good. I didn't. That's not rehearsed, by the way. Until then, guys, keep cool but care. Remember, the Empire never ended.